Now, on page three of this typed script, under major findings, there is a section describing physical examination. On the second to last line, it states, and correct me if I am not reading it correctly, it states, lungs show good air exchange. Do you see that reference on the page? Yes. Is it fair to say that Dr. Harris could have asthma, and yet on physical examination on that particular day, her lungs showed a good air exchange? Yes, that's possible. Now, after that reference, it states, no rowels noted, no runcai noted, and no wheezing noted. Do you see that reference? Yes, I see it all right. Is it fair to say that Dr. Harris could have asthma and nonetheless not have any of those listed symptoms on the date she was examined, in your opinion? Yes, that's correct. Now, on the same page, page three, under the heading medications, there are several different medications listed. Was it your understanding at that time that the listed medications were medications that Dr. Harris was taking as of the date of her examination? That's correct. Would you say any of these medications in your experience have controlled Dr. Harris's asthma symptoms on the date of the examination? Oh yes, many of these are potent anti-asthma medicines. So this would have, for mild or even moderate cases of asthma, would probably have completely controlled the symptoms as far as I am concerned. Now, you also have in your records, in Exhibit 1, records of an examination that was performed in May of 1999 on Dr. Harris. Would you turn to that if you don't mind? Yes. Now, did you personally examine Dr. Harris on May 13, 1999? I saw Dr. Harris in conjunction, again, with the fellow on that day, and I presumed that, as is my practice, I performed whatever examination I thought was pertinent to the decisions that needed to be made on that day. Now, I believe you have in front of you some handwritten notes under the heading Outpatient Evaluation. Yes. The handwritten notes on this page, are they yours? No. Well, some of them are. Could you identify which notes are yours? The three lines right under clinic notes are mine. The signature down below is mine. The impression and plan on the back of the sheet are in my handwriting. Do you recognize any other handwriting on these two pages? I think this is the handwriting of Dr. Primo, the postdoctoral fellow who works with me. Is Dr. Primo still with Johns Hopkins? Yes, she's here. What is her first name? Marie Noah. She's French Canadian. She's French Canadian? Correct. And is COPD associated with asthma? Asthma is a form of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, as is chronic bronchitis and emphysema. They are all obstructive airway diseases, which is what normally is meant by the term COPD. There is a reference immediately after that to parenchymal disease. What is that? Parenchymal disease would be disease in the tissue of the lung itself, in the air sacs of the lung, as opposed to the bronchi. Could Dr. Harris have asthma and yet have no active parenchymal disease? Yes. Most patients with asthma would be said to have no parenchymal disease. Pneumonia would be a parenchymal disease. In May of 1999, did you order an evaluation of Dr. Harris's lung function? That's, uh, yes, we did. Now, you just turned to a typed page. Yes. Can an asthma patient, in your opinion, have a peak flow reading that falls in a normal range and yet still have asthma, if you know? Yes, on any given day, if they are appropriately treated or overtreated, they'll have a normal peak flow and normal spirometry, but they'll still have asthma. If the medications are withdrawn, you'll be able to see that quite clearly. Have you evaluated Dr. Harris for allergy to the material known as latex? Yes. When did you perform that evaluation, if you remember? Well, we performed that as part of her evaluations in 1999 and 1998. Did you perform any blood tests on Dr. Harris in 1998 with respect to latex sensitivity? We almost always do perform such a test. I don't know 
uh, don't see the results of it here, but I presume that we did. I did. That's good. I'm lazying along so you get it. Actually, that's a little tough. Well, it's not easy. I didn't have the, a lot of the words. When do you want to quit? Uh, one or two more. Okay. 